Hello there, and welcome to our recorded video class for the subject Media and Information Literacy. But before that, I would like to introduce myself to you. I am your teacher for this lesson. My name is Jessan Oreta Noriko, and our first lesson starts with the introduction to media literacy. But before that, I will share to you on why you should study media and information literacy. Now, the word media is often misused in public discourse. Politicians, for example, might blame the media for portraying them in a bad light. But the term media covers much more than the nightly news or a major news organization's website. Media and mass media include a wide variety of content that people spend their time reading, watching, and experiencing. And they include news program and television, radio, and online, and in print. Opinions, often on websites that are based on the news. Advertisements, marketing messages, video games, music streaming apps, online video streaming companies, and social media posts. Now, your mind are going to question, uh, why do we need to study media and information literacy? Why? Because it has a lot of benefits. So the benefits are media literacy for students are multiple. First and foremost, media literacy helps students become wiser consumers of media as well as responsible producers of their own media. Along those same lines, teaching media literacy helps to foster critical thinking in students. This type of thinking can eventually become second nature, which will help you in many areas as you grow older. Right? Now, the focus is more on strengthening process skills, not content knowledge. In a larger text, media literacy also fosters the skills that help people work together in a collaboration because it encourages respectful discourse and build citizenship skills. Media literacy will continue to play a key role in creating a new generation that can retain critical thinking skills in the midst of a media blizzard. It's an area where teachers who learn about media literacy can have a profound impact. Media information literacy, now we're going to proceed to introduction to the media in information literacy lesson one. All right, so your targets to hit is to describe how communication is affected by media and information. Identify similarities and differences of media literacy, information literacy, and technology literacy. Mm, I'm going to do that. Now, it editorialize the value of being a media and information literate individual. You have to. You have to be literate. Now, you have to identify characteristics, describe the responsible uses and competent producers of media and, and information, and of course, shares to class media habits lifestyles and references now we will go to your tools tips and tour now here is the age of media saturation okay now we live in an era of media saturation so here are some statistics that uh, put hard numbers to what most people already instinctively know the average u.s citizen spends 721 minutes per day take note 721 minutes per day with media. According to uh, statistic, a television remains the primary um, media outlet with the average of U.S. citizens spending 238 minutes a day watching television. Wow, that's big. Now, estimates vary on the exact number, but most experts agree the average person sees thousands of advertising messages a day. There are studies also that uh, they have shown that the average person is exposed in 10,000 brand marketing messages a day. Is this, is this true? It's true. According to the American Marketing Association, it's a consumer-driven world. Even news hours and major cable networks can include 16 commercials every hour. And it climbs even higher when watching sports or primetime television. Now, if you're going to uh, study more, you can visit this website or you can you can watch this, uh, uh, this video presentation from YouTube, right? www.youtube.com as here as presented. 
All right? Now, let's go to the introduction. So, as we all know, media and, uh, and other information providers such as libraries, archives, and the internet are widely recognized as essential tools for helping citizens to make informed decisions. They are also the means by which societies learn about themselves, maintain public discourse, and build a sense of community. All right? So how is communication affected by media and information? Shall we say media, communication tools here, as you can see? And another one here is information. Now, information includes data, knowledge derived from study experience or instruction, signals or symbols, knowledge of specific events or situation. All right? Now, how do you use Facebook as a tool of medium for communication? I know all of you have an account for Facebook, right? And how did Facebook affect or change the way communicate with other people? Some, some people use it in a bad ways. Some people use it in a good way. Vice versa, right? Now, what is literacy? Right? Children, you have to take, take this note because this is very important. Literacy is the ability to read, view, write, design, speak, and listen in a way that allows you to communicate effectively. The power of literacy lies not just in the ability to read and write, but rather in a person's capacity to apply the skills to effectively connect interpret and discern the intricacies of the world in which they live. Now, what is mass media? Mm -hmm. Now, as I, as I have said, media are the communication outlets or tools used to store and deliver information or data. The term refers to components of mass media communications industry such as print media, publishing, the news media, photography, cinema, broadcasting, and advertising all right now we combine these two what is media literacy it encompasses the practices that allow people access critically evaluate and create or manipulate media media literacy is not restricted to one medium the importance of media literacy is to put simply the, the ability to identify different types of media and the messages they are sending. Now let us go to the information literacy. It is the ability to find, evaluate, organize, use, and communicate information in its all various formats, most notably in situations requiring decision making, problem solving, or the acquisition of knowledge. It is a combination of research, or research skills rather, critical thinking skills, computer technology skills, and communication skills as well. So information literacy is essential for academic success, effective functioning in the workplace, and participation in society such as knowledgeable citizens. The third, the third part is technology literacy. This is a term used to describe an individual's ability to assess, acquire, and communicate information in a fully digital or fully digital environment, rather. You as a student, who possess technology literacy are able to easily utilize a variety of digital devices such as computers, smartphones, tablet, and tablets, and interfaces. Example, email, internet, social media, cloud computing, and etc. To communicate, troubleshoot, and problem solve in both academic and non-academic surrounding. Okay, now to the next part. Technology literacy refers to a familiarity with digital information and devices, increasingly essential in a modern learning environment. Technology literacy is similar to digital literacy in that an individual who is technologically or digitally literate is well-versed in thinking critically and communicating by utilizing technology. Now that answers the discussion, but before that, this is your terminal key points, media literacy information literacy, and technology literacy, all right? Next would be media information literacy is a composite concept, as you can see in the picture here. I have media literacy, I have information literacy, I have 
digital literacy, oh, what will happen to you? Complete package, right? Aside for those who, have, who don't have, you can see the difference of that. Well, that's all for today. And don't forget to study your syllables and to answer your worksheets as well. All right? So see you next discussion. Have a great day. Take care. And God bless.